this hot July evening, we're talking about newborn screening and what that process looks like. So we've all heard the term newborn screening here in the US and UK. It's a mandatory test that's done in our two countries and includes uh, the top major genetic disorders that can cause serious complications and possibly death if not taken care of right away. This includes things like cystic fibrosis, PKU, and yes, sickle cell disease. So what exactly does the screening look like? Well, shortly after you give birth, within the first 24 to 48 hours of life, your baby will receive the tiniest little heel prick um, on their heel by a nurse, and they will take out three drops of blood. And they have a little card, it's a little rectangular tan card, that has three little circles on it. And a drop of blood goes in each one of those circles, and then the blood's mailed off to the laboratory. And so what are they looking for? Well, they're looking for any presence of sickle hemoglobin within uh, the blood. So if you have a, a very low presence of sickle hemoglobin, somewhere between 20 and 40%, that means that you have the sickle cell trait, but not the full blown disease. If your levels are higher than 60%, um, sometimes people go all the way up to almost 100%, that means that you have sickle cell disease. It's really important to note at this stage that during the newborn screening, they are not able to tell you exactly what type of sickle cell you have. So you're not going to know if you have SS or SC or sickle beta thal. All of those results come later when you meet with the hematologist, which is a fancy term for blood doctor. But during the screening process, they just tell you yes or no whether or not you have the trait, the disease, or uh, healthy hemoglobin. So if you have the disease, you're notified one of two ways, either by telephone or by mail. I know that it can be really hard to receive um, such intense news by mail, but some states such as Illinois do notify people that way. When you are notified, you um, will be given the name and contact information for a hematologist. If you've never uh, heard of a hematologist, they specifically specialize in blood, and since sickle cell is the largest most common genetic blood disorder, they deal with primarily just sickle cell, and some hematologists only specialize in sickle cell. However, the caveat here is that you do not need to meet with a hematologist until your baby is two months or eight weeks old, um, because that's when they like to start some of their um, preventative treatments, such as the penicillin. There's a whole other video on that if you want to look um, up under the Hope for Horizon playlist on this page. Um, so it usually takes between two to five weeks to get the results of the newborn screening. So for all of us new parents out there, that means we're waiting between uh, three to six weeks for that first appointment with the doctor, which can be really nerve wracking if you don't know anything about sickle cell. We urge you to go to the sickle cell basics page um, at our website, hopeforscd.org to get um, up to date and accurate information. Because I know um, what we did is we just started randomly Googling because we didn't know anything about sickle cell and we got some really scary, intense news that wound up not being accurate anymore. So I would caution you to not just blindly Google. Um, the other thing is if you already have a person in your family living with sickle cell, if it's yourself, if it's another child, you can often get the results much quicker. After Sophia was diagnosed, we were able to get the results of all of our subsequent children within a week because the hematologist ran um, the newborn screening through their office and were able to give us the results as to whether or not they had the trait or the disease immediately after. So that was really exciting for us to know and not have to wait for weeks on end to find out if we had other children living with sickle cell disease. The other important thing to note is that not all states notify you if you have, if your child has the trait, has the sickle cell trait. Um, we were never notified until uh, they wound up screening all of our children after we found out Pia had the full blood sickle cell disease. And so all those children that were born before her, we never even knew about that they all had the trait. So that's something you will want to ask. Um, your pediatrician can run that simple blood test um, in the future if your children have, if you've never heard of whether or not your children have the trait itself. And the other thing, too, is all of those other hemoglobinopathies we talked about, the um, C disease, the hemoglobin D, or the beta or alpha thalassemias, those are not screened in that newborn screening. So you will not know if your children are carriers of those unless you ask your pediatrician at a later date, once they're over the age of one, 
um, to screen for those, which if you remember when you match those up with a sickle cell trait can give you a variant of sickle cell disease. For more information, check out hopeforscd.org. Leave any comments or questions below. And if you're still confused, peruse through our video playlist here on the YouTube channel. Thanks.